The Young and the Restless Spoilers The living room of the Newman household was heavy with tension as Sharon Newman sat on the couch, her face streaked with tears, her hands shaking uncontrollably. Mariah and Nick had rushed to her side the moment they noticed her distress, holding her close as she sobbed uncontrollably. The emotional weight of Sharon's confession hung in the air like a dark cloud. I did it, Sharon whimpered, her voice barely audible through her tears. I killed Heather, and I got rid of her body. It's my fault. Mariah's breath caught in her throat, her mind spinning. Could this be real? Could her mother, who had fought so many battles and endured so much, have done something so horrific? Mariah's first instinct was disbelief, maybe Sharon was delusional, lost in the grip of some terrifying hallucination. But as she looked into her mother's tear-filled eyes, the truth was there, raw and undeniable. Sharon believed every word she said. Before Mariah or Nick could react, Faith, standing at the edge of the room, had already made a decision. Without hesitation, she pulled out her phone and dialed 911, her fingers trembling but her resolve clear. She loved her mother deeply, but she couldn't let this go unpunished. As much as it hurt, Faith knew that this was the right thing to do. Faith's voice was firm as she spoke into the phone. Yes, I need to report a crime. My mother just confessed to murder. Sharon's head jerked up in shock, her wide eyes locking onto Faith. No. Faith, no. What are you doing, she cried, her voice rising in panic. You can't. I have to, Faith interrupted, tears now streaming down her own face. You killed someone, Mom. You killed Heather. I can't protect you. I won't. Nick stood frozen for a moment, torn between the instinct to shield Sharon from the inevitable and the crushing reality of what Faith had done. His eyes met Sharon's, and he could see the plea for help, the desperation in her gaze. But Nick knew, just as Faith did, that there was no way out of this. Sharon had crossed a line, and now they all had to face the consequences. Within minutes, the familiar sound of sirens echoed in the distance, growing louder as they approached the Newman property. The flashing lights from the police cars painted the room in shades of red and blue, an ominous sign of what was to come. The door swung open as officers entered, their expressions serious and focused. We received a call reporting a confession to murder at this address, one of them said, his eyes scanning the room before landing on Sharon. Sharon was visibly shaking now, her entire body trembling as she stood up. She looked at Faith with wide, accusing eyes. Why? She screamed, her voice breaking. Why did you do this to me, Faith? I'm your mother. How could you betray me like this? Faith flinched at the harshness of Sharon's words, her heart breaking, but she stood firm. Because it's the right thing to do, Mom. I love you, but I can't protect you from this. You have to face what you've done. Nick moved toward Faith, pulling her into his arms as she began to cry. You did the right thing, he whispered, his voice soft but steady. You were brave, and it wasn't easy, but it was the right thing. Mariah, too, was by Faith's side, placing a hand on her sister's back. It's okay, Faith. We'll get through this together, she said, her own voice wavering as she struggled to keep it together. The officers moved toward Sharon, one of them speaking gently but firmly. Sharon Newman, you're under arrest for the murder of Heather Stevens. Please turn around. As the cuffs clicked around her wrists, Sharon's eyes were filled with a mix of fury and devastation. Faith, she whispered again, her voice now weak and trembling. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. But it was too late. The truth had been spoken, and the consequences were already in motion. As Sharon was led out of the house, she glanced back one last time at her family. Nick held Faith close, his arms wrapped protectively around her, while Mariah stood beside them, her face a mask of pain and confusion. They watched in silence as Sharon disappeared from view, taken into custody. Outside, police had already begun cordoning off the area around the bridge where Sharon had admitted to dumping Heather's body. The search was underway, and the gruesome reality of Sharon's actions was about to come to light. Back inside the house, Faith collapsed into Nick's arms, sobbing uncontrollably. 
I didn't want to do it, she cried. I didn't want to, but I had to. Nick stroked her hair, his voice soothing. You were brave, Faith. You made a difficult choice, and it was the right one. No one could expect you to do more. Mariah knelt down beside her sister, her own eyes filled with tears. I know how hard this is, Faith. But we're going to get through it. You're not alone.